The allergies are so real this morning, you guys. Oh, I did my nails. I didn't tell you. I'll link all the colors I use down below. Obviously, I just use my own collection, so they're not like a perfect ombre, but they're cute, I think. So I'll link them down below. And then that nail pen that I was talking about yesterday, um, I will link that down below. So yeah, I just have the worst allergies right now. I need to take something. My sinuses are super stuffy. Uh, it's from like walking outside a bunch. Anyways, good morning. Uh, <clears throat> I am having, today is gonna like, I'm not gonna leave the house. I'm just gonna like clean, like so much cleaning, so much closet organization. Oh, I am gonna go to the gym. I lied, I'm gonna go to the gym, but not in the morning. Not right now, cause I'm not in the mood to. I want my coffee because I didn't have coffee yesterday. I don't drink coffee in the morning if I go to the gym in the morning because, oh, I had like coffee yesterday, late at night. Um, I like my coffee in the morning. And I like to enjoy it, but I don't drink it in the morning when I work out because I drink pre-workout and that's just like a lot of caffeine first thing in the morning. So we need to clean Arlo's room. We need to clean our room. I just ordered new bedding for our bedroom. Um, I just went with Amazon because honestly, like, I just felt like it's easy and I was able to find exactly what I wanted. Um, some of y'all recommended um, the bedding from Target and I just wasn't able to find like colors that I really wanted. So <clears throat> I'll show you that um, it all will come by Monday. Um, so I got a comforter, like a uh, down comforter and then I got a quilt as well because Scott likes a quilt and I like a comforter <clears throat> so they're compromising. And then I also, he won't watch this, but for Valentine's Day, I got him like, um, it's not really for him. It's more for me, but whatever. It's cute and it's romantic. So I'm going to give it to him on Valentine's Day, but it's one of those like coordinate frame things. It's like a picture. I'll list it down below once I get it in and show you guys. <clears throat> but I think I ordered it from my happy place co or something like that, but it's like a this is the coordinates of where I said yes to marrying him. So I thought that was really cute and it would go nicely in our room. So I just ordered that. Um, that's all I've been doing this morning. I'm so congested. I'm about to upload all the footage from yesterday to see if it's enough footage or if I need to um, add today because I like longer vlogs. It seems like you guys do. And I deleted my whole grocery haul yesterday. So that's what I was going to post today, but I've never deleted footage before. I'm so mad at myself, but whatever. It is what it is. We'll do another big grocery haul in two weeks because the beauty of that is I go grocery shopping often. The sucky part of it is, it's like, I can't refilm it. I mean, I could, I just have to take everything out again. And that's just like, that's a ton of work. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no, we've already started eating. So we're going to do that. We've got our lemon water. We've got our coffee. I'm going to upload the footage, see where we're at, and then start, um, the cleaning process. Uh, I don't know if you guys like like B-roll footage of cleaning stuff, but I might film a little bit of it. And then um, you guys can let me know in the comments if it's something that you're like, uh, no, cause I kind of skip through it sometimes, but other times I find it enjoyable. So yeah. And then we'll do the room makeover on Monday. I really hope I start feeling better. Oh, allergies suck. I've just never had them in my life since Arlo. I had them. But anyways, let's, uh, let's get started. All right. Um, hey, Norma missed a bed. Someone called me out on the fact that I always say that. Uh, I don't know. I just feel the need to because I don't like a messy house. My nails so cute. I love them. Anywho, I'm so congested from allergies just took an allergy pill so hopefully i feel better wanted to show you my outfit for the gym today so i have on this sports bra like tank sort of thing um from amazon i love this and then the leggings that i showed you in my last vlog I'm wearing them out today so we'll see how they work and then my nikes which these in every color are my favorite but i love the crisp all whites um, but I think I might get the tan ones that everyone's getting now, but they're amazing. I love these shoes. They're not like running sneakers or anything like that. They're more athleisure, but I'm just doing, um, uh, 12, 3 and then the, um, I'm going to do a back and bicep workout. So we try and get strong. I have no muscles. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go to the gym now and I'll see you guys when I get back.
Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm at a stoplight. Happy Monday. Happy February 1st. I love a good new month starting on a Monday. I don't know what it is. Like, it's just, you know, yeah, a chance to just achieve a bunch of goals and have a great start to a month. So, uh, try to get some pre-workout headed to the gym now. It's nine o'clock. We're just going to get in a leg day. I haven't done a leg day in a hot minute because typically I do leg days on Monday and I have not been to the gym on a Monday because for the past couple of weeks, honestly, past three weeks, have I done a leg workout in the past three weeks? I don't know. I have, but I did it like off week, but I did not do one last week. So we're going to get a good one in this morning. We're going to start with 12, 3:30, just because I've been liking it for more of my like endurance, um, training, like just, yeah, like wanting to see if it's ever going to get freaking easier. <laughs> um, but anyways, so we're on our way to do that and then we're going to do leg day. Um, and then yeah, we got a fun full day that I'm going to take you guys along with me today. Um, I just want to thank you, say thank you for all the love and support on all the vlogs that I've been putting out. Um, and the long, like the length of them, you guys typically seem to really be enjoying. Ugh, so freaking hot now. The long vlogs, which I really like too. So exciting. They suck to edit, but you know what? They're fun. So um, I hope you guys are, I, I see that you guys are really enjoying them and I just want to say thank you. So uh, let's go to the gym. If this is your motivation you need, it's past Monday. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Start today. It's never too late. Okay, bye. Okay. We finished our workout. I did 12, 3.30 and then I did chest and triceps. Um, oh! I haven't done chest and triceps in a really long time. I wanted to do legs today. That was the goal. But honestly, I feel like everyone has the same Monday ambition as I do. And the gym is quite busy. So, um, and I do wear my mask the whole time I'm in the gym and sanitize stuff, just so you're aware. Um, can I sanitize when I get out? So trying to be as, you know, cautious as possible. But anyways, um, I, want to get a couple things done today. I really want to clean my car, but I have a bunch of donations in the back of my car, not in this back car, in my trunk. And the thing is, is I'm going to have more because I want to clean my closet out today. But I'd run and clean my car like now. I don't know. Timing is always an issue for me. I also want a coffee. So, but I think I might save that for a little bit later. So we're gonna go. We also have to run to Trader Joe's because we need some odds and ends. Um, we don't need a full grocery haul because I did a really large grocery haul on like Thursday, I think. So. Hey, showered, changed into comfy, cozy clothes, which I'll show you in a second. Um, gotta put a little bit of makeup on just to feel a little more fresh for the day. But I have all my skincare on. Let me show you what my tackle or what I need to tackle today because it's so messy, you guys, so messy. Oh, Ooh. can you spot a witness? <laughs> Look at this mess, you guys. Oh my God, blah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's messy up in here. This all needs to be, the, oh, oh, oh. Kim and now. Anywho, we're gonna clean all that up in comfy clothes today. So, I'm wearing that top from Zara, that long sleeve that is so cozy. I've worn this. What do I have on my boob? Oh, it's just like a mark. Anywho, um, it's comfy, it's cozy, and then I'm wearing my um, Amazon joggers that are like the Align that are amazing, and then I have socks on because my toes are cold. So I'm gonna finish doing my makeup really quick, just something light, little, and we're going to, I'm listening to Missing and Murdered, the Alberta. I have one last episode left of the Alberta one, which is season one, and I've already started season two, so I'll probably listen to that as well. <sighs> I'm tired, you guys. Probably because I haven't drank my coffee, but I did go get a coffee, let me show you. Our Lowe's favorite thing, is to get the nail polishes that are under there. Um, <clears throat> so he takes them and he dips them in the toilet. Kids, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I got a triple shot, sugar-free vanilla with a splash of coconut milk. 
iced and I haven't drank very much of it. Drank my protein shake though. So much to do today. So messy in my life. Also, really a terrible angle and you're gonna see all up in my nose and stuff. But I'm gonna be trying the Lancome Seals Boost XL that I or that I like talked about in my um, vlog a little bit ago. This is what the brush looks like. I'm sure everyone's seen this. Like I said, I have <clears throat> a mini one that I've tried, but I just feel like it's not as good. Um, I just feel like samples never are. And this is like my go-to, my Dior show, is the one that I like purchase over and over again, but it is, let me show you, much different in this sense. It is like rubber bristles and it's filthy and it's just, I mean, it's still got some product on it, but not much. And it's kind of past its point of, of cleanliness. So what I notice off the bat here is like, there's just a lot less product, I feel like. So we'll see. Let's give it a go. Why I've always purchased the Dior one and never this one is I liked the idea of the rubberized bristles. I felt like you could get a really good separation in. Um, but with this, I feel like you don't get as much separation, but you definitely get more like volume because of these brushes typically give me a bit more volume quicker anyways. Oh, there's quite a bit of product on this brush now. Then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational. It's just my favorite. I'm gonna let it get just a bit tackier. Uh, it does seem like it's given me some good volume and lift. It might be a little bit heavier than the Dior, but we'll, we'll see. I don't know if you can see it better. Um, another reason I really like primers is I feel like um, before, before when I used to do my mascara, I used to have to put like thousands of coats on and now I just simply put on two coats. And the other thing is it comes off so much easier at night. It's not like clumpy and thick and makes my lashes brittle. I feel like they're actually still soft to the touch. Um, again, that's with the Dior. I don't know how it's going to be with this guy, the lash boost seals, whatever. And I think they do have like vitamins and stuff inside of the, so it helps with like, you know, overall length or strength of the lashes. So yeah, like it so far. We'll see. Um, yeah, I just, if you're not using primer, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So, okay. Whew, I need to drink more coffee. Now we're completed. Brows are finally done too. I don't know why I shared you with that whole clip without my brows done, but they're done now. Uh, all right. I think I might go make myself a little, nah, I'm not hungry at the second. What is going on with the lighting today? I feel like it's so dark. I don't know. This is what I want to do. Sleep with Winnie. Are you being sleepy? Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. Do you need a bath this week because you're really smelly? I love you. You guys, can you believe she's going to be 13 years old this year? 13 years young. You're the best thing ever. Alright. That's clean. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to do, I don't know if I mentioned this already. I have something in my eyelash. Hair. I'm not going to do like a declutter of my closet because mostly I just don't feel like trying stuff on today. So I'm just going to organize it. I'm just going to clean it up a bit. If there's anything where I'm like, absolutely not, I'll get rid of. But I really, truly do need to do like a full on declutter, put more stuff on my Poshmark, get rid of stuff. But it's hard because it's like, it's weird because I, you know, was pregnant for so long. Felt like an eternity. I was just not one of those girls that loved being pregnant, but whatever. I love my son now, so that's okay. Uh, I wish I was somebody who loved being pregnant, but I just am not. Anywho, um, I, yeah, so I wasn't wearing any of the clothes because I was pregnant. Clothes just still aren't fitting quite where I want them to yet, and that's okay. And I, but I want to give myself the ability to see if I'm my body will go back to that point or it won't. And I'm okay if it doesn't. I will accept that <laughs> because I'm I'm really happy with how my body is right now. I'm not saying I'm not, but if I can get into fitting into those clothes, like hello, I want to do that because some of these like my denim shorts I tried on. 
I've tried on a bathing suit that I purchased a couple months ago and I love it, you guys. I'm obsessed with how it looks. I wish I could recommend it to you guys, but it's sold out. Hopefully, if it comes back in stock, I will recommend it to you guys, but it's really flattering. It's really nice. I'm happy. Um, and then I have a bathing suit that I feel comfortable and confident in right now, not like a goal one, you know what I mean? Um, and then I tried on some denim shorts just because pretty much I'm back to fitting into all my jeans except for like one pair. Um, yeah, one pair is just like real stiff. But my shorts I've had since like, guys, since high school, some of them from high school, some of them from like freshman year of co high college, but... I love them. They're my favorites for a reason and I don't want to get rid of them if I don't have to. So some of them are fitting, some of them are absolutely not fitting, but I want to just see if like, you know, by summertime I can get into them. So I don't want to get rid of anything um, or like get rid of pairs of jeans that I'm just like, well, maybe I'll fit back into them one day. I don't know. Is that wishful thinking? No, I don't think it is. I think it's like normal because A, I'm only like 10 months postpartum not even, almost 10 months postpartum. So your body is still shifting, changing, and I just started like working out. So this month, February, this is Monday, February 1st, you know, new month, new Monday, blah, blah, blah. Um, I am going to stick with this workout that I had written out for myself, just from finding little bits and pieces from what Scott's shown me, Instagram, all that stuff, um, and what I feel the, the results from. I'm gonna stick with this split for a whole month, just to see, like the same exercises, increase weight, but um, as I progress, but I really want to see strength progress instead of just like physical results. Like I want to be able to see my weights increase. So that's my goal this month. Another goal of mine <clears throat> is to learn how to French braid my hair. <laughs> I know it seems super dorky, but I really want to learn how to French braid my hair. I, I know how to French braid other people's hair, just not my own. This one has changed locations. Hi, Miss Winnie. I'm procrastinating more. I'm ordering hangers from Target because I need more hangers. And I, I guess I'll, I'll get them from there. But anyways, um, I didn't tell you guys. It reminded me because I was looking at velvet hangers and my mom um, has velvet hangers in the camper. We are going camping this weekend just to a nearby um, place. Um, yeah, we're going Friday to Sunday. Um, obviously Super Bowl Sunday is this weekend as well, which we'll be back by Sunday. Uh, but yeah, we're going camping this weekend and I'm, like happy, but also kind of like sad, obviously. Um, yeah, so I'll document a little bit of it with you guys. I didn't share our last camping trip when we went, um, to New Mexico. I still have all the footage. I just haven't, um, it's mine. I don't know how to explain that. It's just like my footage. So for me, you know, like it's closure for that whole trip. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and do a little camping trip this weekend, which I'm excited about. We really need to be better about planning stuff and going places or else it really doesn't make sense to keep the camper. The last thing I want to do is like have it, you know, fall apart or just, you know, when you don't use things like that, they just go bad. And I don't want that to happen. So, um, we plan this trip and hopefully we can plan one like once one every other month or something like that. I know we will go camping way more when it becomes summer. It's just a little chilly out still, but we're going where there's like hiking trails and stuff like that. So Scott's going to bring his bike and me, you know, Arlo can go on hikes and Winnie will come too, of course. So that's uh, the plan for that. So I'll be prepping a little bit for that and we'll have to go get the camper out of storage, which it's far, it's probably about 45 minutes away out of town in Wiley. I think it's Wiley. Uh, so we'll have to drive out there Friday. So I can't like pack it up, but it's all cleaned and everything. I just like can't pack it up. Oh, I don't actually know if the inside's clean, but like everything's defrosted. So we'll need to bring all food and all that kind of stuff. So I'll bring you guys along for that. Oh, uh, process. Okay. I'm going to stop being distracted. Bye guys. I'm still sitting in the exact same spot. Placed my um, pickup order for Target for hangers. So we'll see when that's ready. It's not at my normal place, which is kind of a bummer, but I just got three packs of, I wanna say 18. So we got a lot of freaking hangers coming, but we need it. So in the meantime, let's organize the closet. <laughs>
wanted to show you how I fold my jeans since, you know, I figured we'd utilize all the skills that working in retail for a billion years has taught me. So I'm going to show you how I fold my jeans. So you can see I have a stack started right here. Um, so I will show you how I fold my jeans so that they all kind of like line up and I know what they are. So I kind of go with two sets. So I have my like skinny jeans and then I have my like more boyfriendy structured jean. So first I start by zipping up my zipper, buttoning my button, and then like I pull out the crotch to start with. And then I take and I take the front and the back and put them together. So the, the bottoms are right up towards the top. Uh, depending on how long your jeans are, we'll de determine that. Then, before um, I pulled the crotch out, now I'm going to tuck it in. So I tuck it in, it's honestly just so that it they line up better. And then, so you have that, and then I fold it in half again, like right where that crotch was. And that's how... I fold my jeans. Now, if you recognize your jeans more from the butt pocket, then do it the butt way. So I can show you a butt way. And then this is the way I do it though, um, facing forward. And then let me show you my butt way. So again, same concept. These are a stretchier um, skinny jean. So I take and <clears throat> fold it with the butt or the pockets outwards. Again, fold it all the way up so where your top meets the bottom. Tuck in the crotch and then fold it so you can see the back pocket. So when you're all laying out, so if you have a specific brand of jeans you're looking for, um, I go by color and I go by distressing and I know my jeans that way. Even though I have like hundreds of pairs of jeans, I still know. So whether you're a butt pocket girl or you're a front detail girl, those are two ways to fold your jeans. So you're welcome. Hopefully the lighting was okay with that. Now let's resume normal, regular, scheduled programming. Tell me why it's looking worse than better. I have a problem. I love to save like t-shirts from where I've been, um, just stages in my life. Like the shirt I wore on my going away party in Japan. This is a Takashi Murakami shirt, an Everclear t-shirt, a winery, um, gondola ride in Italy. I just love things like this. And then I have some Christmassy stuff over here. This is just more wintry stuff and random, <laughs> random stuff. Um, I decided to put my ch pajamas, which were normally in these, into here since I go through those bins all the time. And then I decided um, bathing suits are down there. I know we got a little while before um, summer, but that's just how I have to have them organized. So I have bathing suits here, shorts there, which the shorts we're under there with the rest of those t-shirts. So I'm kind of like mixing things up a bit. And then we have my like boyfriendy sort of denim and then my skinny jeans um, that I wear most of the time. Um, I have gotten rid of so many pairs of jeans. I'm so freaking proud of myself. I mostly wear um, like three of those, but still so, we've downsized so freaking much. So that's what we've come, a come, <laughs> come up with so far. I need to get through this situation. Um, I could put these back underneath the bed and finish this little guy. Um, that's old pregnancy stuff. That's donations. Some of this I'm going to put on my Poshmark. So we're getting somewhere, I swear, you guys. And I just, just finished the Alberta podcast, Murdered and Missing, season one. So good. Um, just finished that one. No real conclusion, which is really upsetting. Not upsetting for like me, upsetting for like the family or whatever, but I feel like it's gonna keep going. So anyways, really like that. Now I am finishing her on episode three of um, the Cleo, which is season two. So yeah. <laughs> Target, there's it's so busy at the drive up, there's no drive up spots. So I'm just waiting for someone to get their stuff and leave so I can pull into it. Um, 
Anyways, I'm kind of like low energy right now. I don't know what's going on with me. But anywho, I'm, I've decided I'll wash my car and drop off donations tomorrow just because it's already like 3.30. Crap, I need to get in that spot. And um, I'm gonna back up and get in that spot. We have obtained all the hangers. I need to organize this drawer left. Oh, I've organized this. Doesn't look that organized, but I swear that it is. That's what I wear to bed, okay? I organized this for Scott. Again, doesn't look organized, but it is. <laughs> so I need to do my workout drawer, which is not organized. I um, need to put away this load of laundry. And then we're going to, oh, I've organized all those too, but those are like bras and underwear and stuff. So I'm not gonna show you that. Um, all this, these are sweatshirts, nicer sweatpants, bathing suits, shorts, jeans, jeans, Scott sweatpants. I'm not gonna organize a ton of his closet because he just messes it up every time I do. So there's no point to it. But um, I'm gonna slightly, and I need to, if you can see, all the different colored hangers, that drives me nuts. So I'm gonna make them all black and also fix up this stuff over here. <sighs> fix up all that and all this stuff up there. So I need a ladder, not a ladder, a stool. Miss Winnie's very mad at me because she's not going for a walk. Sorry, Winkies. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Okay. <laughs> terrible now I just shampooed all the rugs it's very wet my spit are cold um and the lighting is getting bad in here now but all of our bedding did arrive today so I'm gonna put all that on it's in the washer and dryer right now um so I'll put that on I'll show you tomorrow how it looked let me show you closet updates we're still not completely done we're not done with that bot or that middle drawer yet or all the beverages that I have um Scott's mom had a rug doctor because she used to own a cleaning business. That's why Scott has a rug doctor, in case y'all are wondering, because I was. Um, this section needs to still be done. Up here is done. Um, I need to go through this and organize this. But all the hangers are changed. All of that is organized. Scott's is as organized as he's gonna get. Um, we're doing all the laundry, like I said. This is just a filing drawer with all of our, like, stuff in it um but like i said this is next and then that drawer so i'll finish all this up tomorrow but the rugs are nice and shampooed and clean and i'm so excited you guys i feel like i was like why are you doing spring cleaning in winter and i was like i don't know i just had this urge to clean and when i do i just need to clean so really happy with my progress so far so we're deciding what color we're gonna paint the wall next so we our wall is very tall and slanted, so we might actually just do like a half wall color paint thing. So we need to figure out what color we're going to do on that. And then no. No. No, no, no. Okay, good morning. Um, I feel like I have some catching up to do because I just kind of like fell off the face of the earth last night. Oh, by the way, I made a, an appointment to get Botox done because I've gotten it done before here and I'm going to get it redone there because you can just tell my makeup was creases there and I'm not a fan of it. So I get that done on the 8th. Um, I'm so tired this morning. I don't know why. I got really good sleep last night, like really good. Arlo slept through the night. Thank the heavens. Um, trying to get in the mood to work out by drinking pre workout. Anyways, I can actually sit on the ground because it's not so hairy because I shampooed it last night. You are. So I did not film um, dinner last night. Um, Arlo was like just wild. <laughs> 
because you know he's just in, yeah just bad baby so um I was like trying to make dinner but also entertain him it was just it was a lot and um typically I can film our dinners when I start filming like when Scott goes to the gym before he picks Varla but he went at lunch so I didn't have like my normal time to to film it but the good thing is I make shrimp tacos like once a week so I can film it for you like next week or something but anywho um <clears throat> yeah that's uh oh and then also um I got our new bedding in yesterday and I was so excited for the color and everything and I just hate it I hate it I hate it I hate it our walls are not white as you can probably tell if you look around our baseboard or our like framing and then you look at the walls they're not white and then I got this color blanket quilt and it's just so just looks terrible not gonna lie even though i want to do a really light and bright in here but i think we're actually gonna need a darker quilt maybe like a navy blue or something i don't know so that was kind of a bummer because i was so excited to like get like almost be done with it um and then I realized also, this is probably like so stupid, but I've had a queen bed my entire life. So I didn't realize that like, there's a difference between queen pillows and king pillows. So I had to buy more king pillows yesterday because we only had one set of king pillows, which I thought those were like body pillows. I'm such a loser, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, and then we still need to decide, I think we were gonna decide what color we're gonna paint the wall first before we then go in and decide Hello, Miss Manny. What comforter to get? So we're gonna do that. Um, probably not next weekend, or not this weekend. Maybe next weekend because this weekend we're going camping, um, so we won't really have time to do any of that. And I want Scott to like help pick it up, but honestly, I might just pick it up myself. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'm just like so in the mood to just like be done with not be done with this room, but like have some like, uh, I'm like brain dead this morning. Be finished with this room. So, get some wheels in motion. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. Right, just uh, finished working out. Did just straight legs and do any cardio or anything. Um, and yeah, it was, whew, it was a tough one. I haven't worked out my legs in a while. I don't think I worked out my legs at all last week, honestly, I don't, I don't remember. But um, yeah, I, my legs just aren't very strong. Like I, they're just not very strong. So I need to work on them more because like squats and stuff are just, I can't do them very heavy because uh, my legs just aren't strong enough already. So I think that's the other key is like when you're like working out and you're seeing all these people's fitness videos, I think it's important to get like form and base muscle like down before you start just loading on weights because that's when you'll get hurt. Um, so slow and steady. I have been loving this lotion. I love anything from this ceramide, ceramidin collection from Dr. Dirt. They're sheet masks. If you're dry, you need it. Like it is so freaking good. Um, but I recently, whenever they do like the um, like sale after Christmas on their value packs is typically when I like stock up on certain stuff. And I recently tried their, um, I use like their, toner too which is not like a toner it's like a 
hydrating sort of serum thing but then i also just tried the ceramide and cream which is so good for your face um but this body lotion it's lightweight but it's really freaking nice um yeah i don't typically buy like high-end moisturizers um but i really freaking love this one this one's my other favorite which is the some glory so i put on my lotion do my skincare and get ready um i am listening to Murdered and Missing again because I'm addicted. Normally, I don't listen to podcasts inside the house. I typically do it outside because it's like my treat. But I have so many recommendations from you, from you guys from that video that I feel like I need to listen to as many as I possibly can. And there's like no good videos on YouTube right now. So let's, uh, let's finish getting ready. <laughs> terrific car wash it's actually really good um and i got the max today um i typically get the max but i got the max lord knows i need it but freaking car wash is packed right now it's two o'clock on a tuesday very strange but anyhow um yeah i'm gonna get this car washed just put on my new license plate and my um registration sticker that i should have put on back in October or August, but I did it. So it's been sitting in my house forever. So I finally put on that and I messed it up. I need to like take off. I messed up like that sticky stuff. Ugh, I didn't get that off, but anyhow. Let's get you clean. And then I also need to inflate my tire and clean all of this mess. <laughs> the windows and stuff I just don't like to stay there for so long because you're literally only supposed to stay there for like five minutes and vacuum and that's it especially when it's busy I don't stay there for very long so I need to um just do the windows but I can really quickly do those at home um and now I need to find a place to drop off some donations nearby so I think I'm gonna search that really quick and go drop off the donations oh shoot I forgot the rest of the donations never mind I'm not gonna do that because forgot that I have more at home. Okay, um, I actually need to run to Trader Joe's really quickly because I need a couple things. So I'm gonna run there really quick then. We are at <clears throat> Trader Joe's. Let's go. I just need like a couple of things. So we're gonna run in really quick and grab the couple of things that I need. Okay. Oh. Okay, so quick little Trader Joe's haul. Um, this is like my favorite uh, mineral water that they have. It's the lime version. It's so good. Nice like midday pick-me-up snack. Ignore my dishes. Um, Arlo really liked these. These are just apple mango. They're just nice for, like I said, when we're walking or whatever. And we're going to be camping this weekend, so it might be nice to have these figured got some broccolini tonight i saw this and i was just like i need to try this i never normally get stuff like this but it's like a alfredo sauce with some linguine broccolini and i figured and we have some um chicken thighs in the fridge that we need to use up so i figured this would be a quick and easy dinner what we truly needed was sea salt so got some sea salt we needed some cane sugar not for anything specific we just didn't have any sugar 
This is the yogurt I feed Arlo. It's the full fat yogurt, some coffee, because we are also out of coffee. Um, almond butter and chocolate chunks, because I'm gonna make stuffed dates. Yum. These are Arlo's like favorite when he he's eating much better. Oh my God, thank God. But he loves these, it's a good source of protein. And then um, I try not to give him too much um, canned beans with salt in it, but occasionally just a couple is not terrible for him. And then me, I love tuna, so tuna. So that's our little Trade Joe's haul. Dates time. So these are the dates I have from Trader Joe's. I already emptied my hemp seeds in there, which you can see at the bottom. Did a little bit of chia seeds, which they're all mixed up now. And then some of the dark chocolate, semi dark, semi sweet chocolate chunks in there. I don't know the ratio because I'm kind of winging this. And then I'm going to throw in this almond butter. And then I'm going to chop my dates in half and stuff them. So I'll show you what they end up looking like. I've done this once before, back when I was uh, prego. You can't see the bowl or my head. So what's the point of this one, Kelly? Not too sure. Okay, so let's just dump some of this almond butter in there. You could also throw oats in there. It's gonna be like a sweet, naughty treat. A little bit more in there. Oh no, I'm winging it, like I said. And we're just going to stir it all together. Let me show you. This is very hard to do with one hand. I think I need more <clears throat> almond butter. You know what else would be good in here? Puffed quinoa. Oh, so yum. All right. And then I'm also going to show you what I'm making for dinner tonight. Scott's going to cook the chicken, but I'm going to cook the pasta and stuff, which I'm really excited about. All right. So... That's the batter. I mean, you could obviously throw more stuff in it if you'd like. Um, and it'll get a little bit harder because the um, almond butter will like thicken in the freezer, you know, or refrigerator. You could also freeze these. Okay, so I'm just slicing this on the side, taking out the pit. If you can get actual dates from like a really good market you probably should because they're always so much better um and i'm just gonna stuff these guys full of some chocolatey almondy goodness yeah i'm literally so excited for these tonight they're like not that they're like healthy but they're not you know what i mean because they're not healthy because they're just like i mean they're healthy because they're like very simple ingredients, but they are insanely high in fat um, and sugar. They're very like natural ingredients, but I mean, you still eat too many of these and you gonna get fat, girl. <laughs> like anything in life, right? So these are gonna be like one of those sweet treats, maybe like a midday pick me up or like a dessert sort of thing. Or, you know, you do you. You eat them whenever you want to eat them, I guess. But I'm excited. Like I said, when the last time I made these, I was pregnant because they say that eating like five dates a day or something like that induces labor. They lied. I love me, Maxwell. Oh. Winnie, hush, 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 hush. What? Winnie, hush, 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 hush. Oh, who's that? Is that our love me, oh, Maxwell? Oh. Oh, I know. <laughs> What's that weenie barking about? Arlo. Arlo. What are you playing, Arlo? <laughs> Daddy can't play when you do that, crazy kid. <gasps> oh, what are you? Doing. 
Yeah, no bubba. Make him. Um, got some little chicken nuggies. Ooh, Arlo, you like a chicken nuggies? And a what? Like a teriyaki yakitori sauce. Mm. And then we got, did you put salt on this chicken yet? And then we got the limon alfredo sauce. Water boiling for the pasta. Pitcher on the ground, cause of Arlo. Broccolini, fettuccine. Yum. I basically pack up Arlo's lunch for the day so he's back on his eating game full on eating and I'm so happy so I just pack him a bunch of different things for him to try obviously he doesn't eat all this because he's still only about 10 months old so it's more about textures and flavors and things like that um, so I just chopped up some fresh mango and at the beginning of the week I typically will um, kind of cook up some sweet potatoes so I just have little chunks of that that's softened up and then he's been really enjoying tofu and it's a good way for him to get protein in so I chopped that up because chicken he just can't quite chew yet so he likes some tofu I air fried that and then this kid loves green beans so I just get the non salted canned green beans they're nice and soft for him so I go ahead and put that in there and then to finish it off, he has been loving, I mean, he basically loves anything red. So tomatoes is his like fruit-ish, vegetable-ish thing today. So I go ahead and chop up some of these little vine cherry tomatoes and they're so delicious and he loves them. So I figured I would share with you kind of what he eats at daycare for the day. Here is a finalized look of everything in this Tupperware. Again, I will list it down below. And then in the morning, I will put something down below like crackers, cookies, bread, whatever. So this morning, um, he was super excited about this Tupperware, but those are the cookies that I put at the bottom. No, and that was right. his lunch of the day. And obviously hey, he drinks milk as well.